Hello and welcome to the Daily Devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Kirstein. Our text for the day is the epistle reading from the last Sunday in the church year. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Now concerning the times and seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying, there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them, as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. So then, let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we might live with him. Therefore encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here at the end of the church year, our focus shifts to the end of the world, to Judgment Day and the second coming of Christ. There are many Christians out there who have a lot to say about the end of the world and have their predictions as to when this end might come. When will the Lord return? They are often and have always been incorrect in their guesses. They use scriptures to figure out the time or the day that they think it might happen, and they gather together other Christians and deceive them into thinking that the Lord will return on a certain day, but he never has. We know that he will return one day. We know that it could be any day. But scripture is clear. We don't know the day or the hour. The Lord will return like a thief in the night. What do we Christians do with this information then? I believe that there are three options that St. Paul lays out for us today. The first is that we can go to sleep. Put our faith on the back burner. We don't really need to worry about the end of the world. It's a ways off. So we don't worry about it. We don't go to church. We don't remain in God's word. We sleep. The second option that we have is to be drunk. We know that the Lord will return, but we don't know when. It could be tomorrow. Let's live it up now. Let's live lives of debauchery and pleasure, putting off the things of God that he would have us do. Let's live for ourselves and be drunk. Or we can be like St. Paul says. We can be the children of the light children of the day who look up for the coming the second coming of Christ who wait for the bridegroom like the wise virgins who had oil in their lamps we remain in God's word we remain in God's church we remain in the sacramental life of the church and so we look forward to the second coming of Christ we are vigilant, not drunk and not asleep, but ready for the coming of our Lord. 
Jesus, who died to save us, will return. And he will take us up to be with him, whether we are dead or alive on that last day. He has prepared a place for us and is coming again to judge the living and the dead. In his Christian church, he has promised you eternal life, the forgiveness of sins, and salvation. We do not dread Judgment Day as Christians. We know that on this last day, we will stand before the throne of God, and Jesus will plead innocent on our behalf. We have the full knowledge that our sins are forgiven, and we live perfect and holy and righteous lives before God. We await with joy the second coming of our Lord, not in fear. Thanks be to God. Amen.